All right, car's been sitting here for a while. Uh, I did not move it into the shop or anything. I just set it up right here. I wanna put our meter right there. See if anything moves, just sitting there. I'll go to all the other spots too. I already went underneath. I already went out in the hood area. This is your only chance to find an extremely small lake in the evaporator box. So let's see, where is it set at right now? Uh, it's not manual controls. So when you get into a car, if you did move it or first pull it in and you're not going to get to it and you suspect the leak, set the vehicle where it's in recycle, it's in the face mode, and it's on the lowest speed. So when you just crank or off, so when you just turn on the accessory, it blows a little air. If it blows too much air, it can flush it out with fresh, clean air and remove the refrigerant and your leak detector never picks it up. So let's uh, on, off, just in case it was going real fast. Oh, there we go. We got it. That was it. All I did was... So what happened was I just turned the ignition to the accessory on area just for a second. And what that did was it bumped the fan blade and it just moved a little bit of air out of the case. Now let's see if I could do that. Repeat that again. Bump it again. Turn it off. Try it again. Oh, there, is that it? Nope. Maybe we lost it. That little bit of air movement might have just flushed out the refrigerator. Try it again. Recycle. Off. We go off. Yeah, there you see, see it? See it? There it goes. There it goes. That's what we want to see. Now, let's say... You got into this car and you go, I'm just going to get in this car and I'm going to drive it into the shop, into my stall. So you're in there and you want to test the AC system. And uh, let's uh, auto off. Auto. Got it in cold. Get this okay thing. Okay, I just felt the fan start to blow. I just turned it off. Okay. So the fan started blowing and turned it off. Now let's say you pull it into the shop and now you break out the meter after you took it to your stall and you go look for this leak now. Now let's do this again. Got it there. Let's take it off. You just took it to your stall. You turned on your meter, filled out your paperwork and you come back and you're going to go, I'm going to look for a leak and, and you stick it up in the where the water drain is for the condensate, you pick up nothing there. You go outside by the expansion valve around that area. You go to all the duct dash, you might take out a module. Uh, if you have a, a resistor module or any kind of access into the evaporator case and you stick your gauge in there and you get nothing. You turn it on, let's do this again. Turn it on again, just for a second to get that to bump the blower, turn it off. I just felt it nothing you lost your chance by moving that vehicle when you started it up and the fan started to go it started flushing air out there and if it was a really really slow leak it took that one hour or two hours of sitting to build up a little bit of refrigerant and the refrigerant comes out and it builds up in an enclosed case and just a little movement of the fan just bump it a little bit and it just starts to twirl now at high speed that concentrated gas went over your sensor, you picked it up, you got it. But because somebody moved it into the garage and that fan went and flushed it out, you'll never find that leak. And evaporator leaks don't always leave an oil stain with dust built up on them. All right, that's it for today.